and welcome back to my channel. So balance is a buzzword these days, most commonly spoken about in terms of work-life balance. However, when I speak of balance, I'm coming from the physiological perspective because without internal balance, you have no work-life balance. So if you're new to genuine nutrition or the work that I do, or maybe you're not even new to genuine nutrition, but you're still not sure exactly how I do what I do, in essence, the work that I do is really all about naturally balancing your body so it can function at its optimal level and as it was designed to do. Here at Genuine Nutrition, we use intuitive nutrition, we use food, we use lifestyle management as the tools to naturally create or rather recreate balance in the body so the body can start to heal itself from the inside out. So what does balance mean in the body? You may be wondering what balance in the body actually means or looks like, and that's where the term, the biological term homeostasis comes in. By definition, homeostasis is the state of balance within all physical systems needed for a body to function properly and survive. Another definition is homeostasis is the state of steady internal chemical and physical conditions maintained by living systems. So when you break this word down, homeo meaning similar, stasis meaning stable, homeostasis in its basic form means standing still, meaning that the body is attempting to remain within a set of parameters. Okay, so unfortunately though, more than half of the population is out of balance and not in a state of homeostasis, therefore, Half the population is not operating um, at their optimal level, hence there is no work-life balance. Now, when you hear the terms uh, balance and homeostasis, these two can be used interchangeably. So whenever you hear me mention balance here or anywhere else, I really want you to start thinking about the term homeostasis as it relates to the body's function. So why is balance important in the body? Homeostasis is important because the life and health of an organism, i.e. you, or any other living creature is determined by the state of internal homeostasis. The primary function of homeostasis is to maintain a balance within the body regarding its temperature, food intake, pH balance, and more. So disruption to this delicate yet intelligent system and flow of homeostasis in the body is really the cause of all disease. Hence why we have so many people walking around out of balance and sick. Now, there are many factors that affect homeostasis and the most common ones being genetics, uh, physical condition, diet and nutrition, toxins, your psychological health, uh, side effects from medicines or any med medical procedures or surgery. Now, with all of that being said, we're gonna get into the nitty gritty of this video, which are the signs that your body is out of balance. Now, after over a decade of working with clients all suffering from different forms of imbalances, I really wanted to share with you some telltale signs that your body is out of balance because our bodies speak to us and give us signals all the time when it starts to get out of balance. And so it's important to listen to these signals so we can course correct and really get back in alignment. Just like your car's check engine light, our body sends us signals all the time. The question is whether or not you are ignoring these signals or you are listening to these signals, okay? So, and while there are many, many signs, and not really wow, since there are so many signs that your body is out of balance, this is just part one of this balance series. So make sure you stay until the end um, and check out the other signs of imbalances in part two, which I will be sharing soon, okay? Now, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get to um, the five signs that your body is out of balance, the first five signs, okay? Starting with number one being inflammation. So the first sign of imbalance in the body is chronic inflammation. And while inflammation really is necessary and an important part to our body's healing process, the problem is when it becomes chronic. So chronic inflammation is the beginning of all disease, which leads me to the second sign that your body is out of balance, which is a chronic disease. So caused by chronic inflammation, chronic disease is another sign of how internal balance has really come to surface. And unfortunately, 70% really more than 70% of the US population is diagnosed with a chronic disease. Some of the most common being, and I'm sure you've heard of these, arthritis, diabetes, obesity, heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, IBS, and even cancer. Yes, cancer is a form of chronic disease. <laughs> 
Now, moving along to the third way that your body is out of balance is insomnia or chronic fatigue. So insomnia and chronic fatigue are both signs that your body is out of balance. And if you are finding it difficult to sleep or your sleep is constantly being disrupted, this is a sign of potential psychological imbalances. You're having a lot on your mind, your mental health is unstable, um, or even stress and hormonal imbalances, which really leads me to the next sign, number four, um, that your body is out of balance, which is your body's inability to um, lose or gain weight, okay? So if your body is unable to lose or gain weight, this is a sign of internal and hormonal imbalances, more specifically your metabolism and your hunger hormones. Because when all systems are operating properly, your body has the ability to adjust to the necessary set weight it needs, which is another topic for another day. But just know for this video that if you or your body is at a standstill when it comes to weight loss or even weight gain, um, there definitely is an imbalance somewhere, okay? Now, last but not least, number five for this video is irregular eating or strong cravings. Now, irregular eating habits um, and experiencing strong cravings are also a sign that your body is out of balance. Strong cravings are the side effect really that you are not properly fueling your body with the nutrients it needs. Then you succumb to those cravings and then it just creates this vicious cycle of nutritional imbalance within the body, okay? so. There you have it. Those are the first five signs of this series that your body is out of balance. Are you currently experiencing any of these signs? Have you experienced them in the past? Do you feel like your body is out of balance? Um, let me know in the comments below. And then also make sure that you sign up for my free my new free masterclass um, that I'll be launching next week where I teach you my framework really so you can start the process to naturally creating more balance in your body and life. Because remember, you can't have balance in your life if you don't have it in your body first, okay? So that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.